Aftermath of the South Tulsa tragedy, community leaders stress it's now or never to change this area near 61st and Peoria. Nonprofit leaders are pushing to build a community center right next to the Fairmont Terrace Apartments. That's the complex where the quadruple murders happened. Two News reporter Liz Bryant shows us where they want to build the center. Well, Karen, leaders actually want some of this land here at Johnson Park, which the city owns. The brains behind this idea are with the South Tulsa Community House, and they already have a center just down the street from here. We have a negative 2x plus 4. Michelle's back in the classroom, this time at the South Tulsa Community House. What's x times 5? It's her second go around after dropping out of high school and having two kids. Just stop going. Michelle's GED class is just a small equation at this community house. They also have rent and grocery assistance and counseling. Leaders say they're at capacity, but must offer more, like free health care and sports. We used to serve only maybe 150 people a month, and now we're up to about 400 a month. The center's board director wants you to think of this North Tulsa Dream Center. That's his model for a multi-purpose community center at Johnson Park. He's had these drawings 16 years and says it's now time to get kids off the street. After the funerals are over and the media trips leave, people go back to normal until the next crisis. They need something positive to go forward to. If they just keep seeing all the negative, that's what they're going to go forward to. Workers here know the area's violence all too well. Look how close they are to Fairmont Terrace. They believe this center will cost $6 million using private funds. So you got to have something people can walk to. And there is some competition for this land, as city officials tell me a private group wants to come in right here and build a lacrosse field. Liz, where is the closest community center? Yeah, Karen, the closest community center is about five miles away, just across the Arkansas River in West Tulsa. But neighbors and these basketball players tell me that's not close enough. They need somewhere they can walk to. All right, thank you, Liz. That's Liz Bryant live tonight near 61st in Peoria.